I come from very poor family. So uh, I saw my mother uh, suffering in the olden age to bring up my bring up their children and everything. It motivated me to do some kind of um, uh, work for the poor. So that's why I decided to work for the poor. So I joined and I selected a very remote area called Notrampalayam. There there was no water, no uh, starvation death, no employment, no agriculture. Everything was there, all the poverty there, migration was there. So that's why I motivate. Then I thought, why people are suffering? Because they they have land, they cannot. The land cannot produce anything. So then, what I have to do? That the land should be productive. Then only people can come out of the poverty. That's why then land make productive without giving uh, giving water for the land. So that the rain is there, there is no enough water storage in the ground level. So I thought of building reservoirs, check dams with them to increase the water table. Once the people have a set of land which is not very really productive, it is not, cannot be used for agriculture there, because there was no water at all. So then we thought of giving production and uh, asset value uh, things for the poor. So we thought of building reservoirs. Once uh, the rainwater has been collected, water table increased. Uh, then uh, that uh, land has water, then they got enough water from their land and uh, they got irrigated and uh, the income is sort of flowing in. The, uh, the land became very productive. They are able to solve that problem. That's the one aspect we thought that uh, uh, water conservation, uh, water management, uh, that we done it for the poor people, so they came out of the poverty and that. Once after done this one, they need credit. The, the only without the, uh, poor, proper credit, the poor farmers or coolie workers, they cannot come out. Bank doesn't give any credit to the poor people and they cannot uh, vouch the poor people. The even poor people cannot enter the bank. So we thought of organizing the poor people. The only source of uh, poor people to get money from the money lenders, which costs fifty uh, percent, sixty percent. Already, people lost part of the land and property to the money lenders. So to come, the, come bring them out of the money lenders' clutches. These people should be linked to the bank. So for that only, we started forming the groups. We formed the groups. First, we formed the men group. It was not working out very well. They are not well disciplined. They are not able to repay the money and get the loan. They are not able to use properly. So then we changed the credit program to the woman group. Then woman group, we asked them to do saving, and the savings could be rotated. Then this group can be linked to the bank directly. Then bank can directly give them. That WDP watch them, train them, monitor them. They have all the support WDP started to give. Then bank started to believe them, started to give them a lot of loans. Now it became more uh, empowered uh, credit worthiness. And now people can come out of the poverty, money lenders, clutches, and they can be able to solve their problem. Not only banks are nearby, it's viable, only bank also should give loan to the poor. And it is not that easy in India also. It was not that easy. But it took a long time for us to work with the bank, to fight with the bank, to ask the bank to give a loan. Usually what happened in India also, the microfinance is quite famous. Our model is not a microfinance. It's a SIG model. The self-help group model, it is. We cannot call uh, this model is uh, MFI. MFI is something, different institution, which borrows money from the bank and other people, and it gives to the uh, people for a smaller loan. But whereas we are not uh, borrowing money from the bank, IVDP is not borrowing money from the bank, we help the group to form groups, ask them to do savings. The savings can be rotated by themselves by performing that, giving training, empowerment, and uh, all the training. We link to the bank. Bank gives the money to people directly. So what happens, there is no additional cost involved in that. The, what the bank interest given, the same interest given to the group and to the member also. It's a very cheapest model, this one. So when the poor can afford that one. So that's why we are working. And when the bank is not cooperating, this bank, this uh, model cannot be successful. It cannot work out at all. So that's why the bank should reach the poor. That way, IVDP is working on that, to reach the poor. Empowering the woman is a viable customer. And there also repayment is 100%. There is no default at all because we have our own staffs to monitor them, train them, follow them to repay them. So that's why it is working out very well. The local government was uh, cooperative. It's not against our movement at all. They are doing their, like, for example, the bank is also local government. It is also belongs to the government. It's all, all the loan we are getting from commercial bank. It is a nationalist bank. Eh? They are giving support. That's why they are also helping kind of uh, some infrastructure activities in training and all. The being stage, they have done it. And they do all the support and all. The only thing sometimes the government will ask to give, take, give a free loan, a free uh, subsidies and loan, which we 
are against that. That time we will get into some problem, the ideological problem. Other than that, there was not a big problem for us. Why are you against subsidies? Subsidy, we are against that. I believe people want to give subsidy, government cannot give to all the groups, all the members. Some will get, some may not get. It will affect the group concept. And once you get free, then people fail to repay the bank loan properly. So wherever I, I, you, now you, now you can see in Tamil Nadu also wherever people got subsidies, free loan, they they couldn't succeed properly. Whereas our 8,300 groups, not even one group got a subsidy, not even one group got any revolving fund from the government. It's completely independent on their own. It's their own uh, savings, and also bank is giving loan with the interest. They are repaying the interest. It's completely. That's why it is uh, sustainable. If you know, if we don't get even foreign aid for to maintain these groups. Then administrative costs also borne by uh, made by the members. So I have been in Philippines for the past two, two times. 96 I studied in Philippines. 2010 and came in Philippines to, uh, and especially came to and stayed in the village to study the microfinance credit. Here the big problem is bank is not reaching the poor. That's why the microfinance model is there. So it's suppose the bank directly should reach the poor. It is possible, and the government should work out a viable uh, law and rules and regulation. The poor people can be directly into the bank only. It is cheaper and the best for the poor, they can come out of it. Otherwise, if you work through a mediator, it is always costly for the poor people. They cannot afford, they cannot come out of it. Yeah, that's very easy. It can be done, but it is not. It, it is, even it was there like in India also. It was some many years back, even India also, the bank is not for the poor. Now, a lot of things have taken place in India, and uh, uh, things the um, bank is going to the poor level and giving a lot of direct loans and giving, and now taking it. I think banks should go to the poor. I think they should find a ways and means, and even the uh, government or uh, bankers also can come and study Indian model and how it works out, how the bank is reaching the poor. So it is it's a responsibility of the government, responsibility of the bankers, they should reach out to the poor. When the poor are rich and poor are capable, only the economy can be capable. People should be strong. They should be healthy and strong. Then only country is strong. Otherwise, the, the whole money is locked up with a few people. It's no use. It is not developed. Yeah, the development should be spread everywhere. Yeah.